going to talk about stationing for horizontal curves and really one of the most common mistakes that we see with stationing for horizontal curves really relates in my opinion to how we look at horizontal curves and how we see them in most practice problems. So typically when we're looking at horizontal curves we really only focus on just one curve at a time and I think we lose sight for the larger system and what we're trying to do. So when we're looking at a horizontal curve we're going to see our tangents, we're going to see our radius that connects them, we know there's the PC and the PT, we can even look at the radius that connects those. We know these distances for a simple curve is the tangent. We know this point is the point of intersection. And so it's very common for stationing to be given the point of intersection. So one of our givens will be this point of intersection, so we'll be told the stationing of that PI, and we're told find the stationing of the rest of the curves, or maybe find the point of tangency, the PT, of this curve. And it's very natural to want to say, well, the distance from the PI to the PT is T, so we want to say that PT equals the PI plus T. But this is incorrect. That does not work out. Geometrically, the distance is T, but from a, a stationing perspective, we always want to station along the center line of the roadway. So in order to find the station of the PT, and this is the length of the curve, so the correct equation for the station of the PT is going to want to start from the, the PI, we're going to subtract the length of the tangent T, and then we're going to add the length of the curve. So we're going to go from the PI back to the PC, and then along the curve to the PT. And where I think we can lose sight of this is that we, we're going to see this curve just as an isolated curve, but in reality, our tangents are going to be working together. Our tangents are connected smoothly by the curves. And so if we actually see a more consistent or realistic roadway system, we're going to see tangents that are connected by curves. And we may have dozens of curves if the, if the roadway is long enough. And so when we think about stationing, again, it needs to be along the center line of the roadway because that's as we're building the road. We need to identify that center line. We're not worried ultimately about points that are off the roadway. We're interested in really the center line of the roadway. And so when we station, the points that we're worried about would actually follow this red line. So ultimately, anything that's not on that red line, we're not worried about. And so when we're given that PI, we're given a point that's not on that red line. So we need to reestablish our distances relative to this red line. So that's why we're going to start with the PI, we're going to go back to that PC, and then along the length of the curve to find the station of the PT. And we're going to do that continuously. As we move along, if we're given various PI stations, we're going to need to start there, but then return back to our center line and move along that center line for the stationing for our whole roadway system. So again, for the stationing of horizontal curves, our correct procedure is to go from the PI to the PC, then along the length of the curve to reach the PT. You cannot go directly from the PI to the PT to maintain and to compute 